Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last video, I have explained you the meaning of the term money market. What are the features of money market? So money market plays a very important role in the whole economy, particularly in the financial system. It's a part of the financial system which supply the short term funds to the business organizations, to the banks, to the government. So it's a market where the short term funds are lended and borrowed. That means the requirement of short term fund is met from money market. So it's a very important sector in the complete financial system. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the functions of money market. So if you have not watched the first video, I suggest go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject financial institutions and market, select the video of uh, money market unit number three, watch the first video, be clear regarding the meaning of the term money market and the features of money market, then you can easily understand what functions the money market will perform. So before explaining the money market, take the screenshot of the points which are written on the board. <clears throat> so the first function, the first function of the money market is up optimal use of capital. See, capital is one of the scarce resource. Without capital, no organization can function. The whole economy depends on the usage of capital. So when the capital is scarce, it should be efficiently and effectively utilized. Otherwise, there is no economic development. The functioning of the complete banking and financial sector will collapse if we do not prudently utilize the funds, the funds. Now, capital is a scarce in any economy. However, many a times capital is lying idle as it is needed after a short period of time. Sometimes a business is having some capital which is required after a short period of time. But the company, the business cannot be able to invest that funds for a long period because, for example, a business is having some 10 lakh rupees which is required after two months. After two months, the business cannot invest the 10 lakh rupees for a long period of time because all of a sudden after two months, if we require how we can be able to recover. So there should be some system in which this 10 lakh rupees can be better utilized during this short period of time of two months. So here uh, in such a case, it cannot be deployed for any long term use. Money market makes it possible to use the scarce capital lying idle efficiently, effectively and optimally for a short period. See, there is a saying that money should not remain idle. Idle money will not generate any income but idle money will incur cost. So why to keep the money idle even for the short period, even for one day, the money should not remain idle. So effectively, efficiently, optimally, the short term funds should be utilized. So first function of this money market is we can better utilize the short term funds. Now, it provides an opportunity to banks, large non-financial business corporation, state and local government and other institutions to utilize the surplus funds effectively. So many organizations are there, banks are there, non-financial corporations are there, institutions, business houses, corporate business houses are there, government, local government and state government. So many organizations are there where funds are available for a short period. So that short term funds can be effectively utilized, can be invested in this money market so that the money will not remain idle and the business can be able to earn some return on that short term funds. Secondly, provides liquidity. 
Liquidity means the ability of the business to pay the current obligations on time. So every organization must have sufficient liquidity. Ability of the business, whether it is a government or even banks or other corporate houses, every business must have adequate liquidity means ability of the business to pay the obligations on time. So money market will play a very important role in maintaining the liquidity of the businesses by providing short term funds. Sometimes the banks will need immediate short term fund for a period of one day or two days or one week. In that case, the banks can approach this money market and get the required funds for a short period. Similarly, large business cor uh, houses, business corporations and then uh, government, they also require liquidity. So this money market is going to help in maintaining the liquidity of the organizations. Next third one is treasury management. <clears throat> now we deposit money in banks as we believe that we can withdraw that any time. So, so many banks are there in the whole country. Every person will try to deposit the money in the bank so that they can be able to withdraw the money at any time. It is the demand deposit at any time instead of keeping the money with ourselves, it is safe to keep the money in the bank and we are assured that whenever we need the money, we can withdraw the money. However, banks lend that money for a longer period of time and cannot ask the borrower to repay the loan whenever the bank needs funds. So whatever deposits the bank has received from the depositors, the bank will lend that money to the borrowers for a long period of time. In that case, the bank cannot force the borrowers to repay the amount because we are in need of money. They cannot force the borrowers. Already time period is given to the borrowers that you have to repay the money after three years, after four years, after five years. Now all of a sudden the banks requires funds. They cannot force the borrowers to pay the amount. Now every day crores of rupees get deposited on also withdrawn from various banks. So every day you, you can see so much of money is deposited in the banks and so much money is withdrawn from the bank. So this deposits and withdrawal will take place every day in every bank. So what will happen on a given day if there are unusually large withdrawals banks have confidence that they can be able to meet the shortfall from the market. So all the days are not same. On a particular day, unusually withdrawals are more. Then bank will be faced with a problem of cash crunch. They don't have the sufficient money to I mean, pay to the depositors. What will happen? The only last resort is money market. So banks will have confidence in the money market. Then whenever they are falling short of short term funds, they can go to the money market, withdraw the amount from money market and pay the depositors. So this is a treasury management. That means whatever deposits they have received, they have lended the money to the borrowers. And later on, when there is a cash shortage problem, the banks can go to money market and borrow the money and pay their liabilities. Now, funding working capital requirement. Every organization requires funds for two purposes. One's long term purpose and one short term purpose. The long term funds are required for fixed assets, purchasing machinery, equipment, building, furniture. For all these things, bank, uh, every business requires long term funds. Apart from that, a business also requires working capital. The fund required for day to day expenses. So whenever a business is falling short of working capital, the business can go to money market and take the help from money market for the short term funds. The working capital requirement is met from money market. Businesses look to finance for their working capital needs from banks. And banks can afford to support this requirement only because of assurance of readily available funds for money market. So normally a business organization, whenever they fall short of money, they will approach the bank and banker will give the loans, short term loans to the business houses. And when the banks fail to pay the amount, when the banks fail it difficult, they will approach the money market to get the 
funds. So here every large corporates are now accessing the money market to meet their working capital requirement. Now it has become a common phenomenon that the business is small business or large corporate businesses. They will go to money market to get the money for short term purpose for working capital. Next, financing domestic and international trade. Now, due to globalization, a lot of international trade is also taking place. In international trade, the traders require short term funds for the purpose of uh, supplying the goods or purchasing the goods from abroad. In that case, they are in need of short term funds, whether domestic traders or international traders. In this case, the short term requirement of funds will be fulfilled by money market, then acceptance, all these things. Source of finance for the government. Just like a business organization requires funds, a government also requires short term funds. So government will issue treasury bill in order to raise the money. So government also needs finance and one source of generating short term finance is through money markets. So government issues treasury bills to raise funds to meet short term obligations at lower rate of interest. Now investors will also prefer these treasury bills because even if the rate of interest is low on treasury bills, there are tax benefit by investing in treasury bills. So it is better for the government also. This money market is helpful not only to the business organization but also to the government for getting short term funds through issue of treasury bills. Next, control inflation. The inflation will arise due to excess supply of money. When there is excess supply of money, then definitely the government through monetary policy can implement a policy to mob up the excess money from the market. In this way, in the short period of time, the inflation can also be controlled with the help of this money market. Then application of monetary policy. Monetary policy means the money policy which is implemented by the central bank. In India, the central bank is RBA. So RBI will implement the monetary policy. The success of the monetary policy depends how efficiently the monetary money market is functioning. If the money market is perfectly functioning, then definitely the monetary policy, whatever the objectives of monetary policy, that will be achieved. <coughs> so monetary policy deals with the control of money in the money market. RBA is responsible for framing and implementation of this monetary policy in India. The ability of central bank to have an effective monetary policy and influence the amount of money in the economy is largely dependent on the existence of effective money market. So the success of the monetary policy depends how efficient, how effective the money market is. If the money market is perfect, efficient, effective, then de definitely the government, the RBI can be able to achieve the objectives of the monetary policy. Now, regulatory compliance of banks. Every bank has to comply a number of regulations given by RBI. So this money market by using, by help, with the help of money market, the banks can be able to comply the provisions given by RBA. Example, here the example are cash reserve ratio, CRR. Cash reserve ratio and statutory liquidity ratio, SLR. These are the restrictions or provisions given by the RBA to every bank to maintain the CRR and SLR. So with the help of, with the help of money market, the banks can be able to comply the provisions of CRR and SLR. Next one enhances bank profitability. With the help of this money market, the profitability of the banks will also increase. How? Instead of keeping idle money even for a day, it will incur cost. So what the banker will do? The banks will try to find out how effectively they can be able to utilize the funds, idle funds, excess money. Immediately they will approach the money market and lend the money for a short period of time. 
Similarly, other bank who is in shortage of funds for a day or few days, they can approach the money market and get the money from there. So money is always circulating. In this way, we can be able to increase the profitability of the banks. So commercial banks accept deposits every day. Many times they are in position of excess reserves, which can be utilized to earn additional returns. So normally this will happen in practice that many banks will have excess money in their reserves. So why to keep the excess money? They will make the investment in money market so that they can earn the return. The money market not only enables banks to earn return on the resources, more importantly, it also allows them to easily convert their investment into liquid funds. So they can even the, make the investment and also the banks can be able to borrow from the money market. The dual advantage banks are getting, they are making the investment and also they are borrowing from money market. Next one is use of surplus funds. If in any organization, if they are having surplus funds, that surplus funds can be better utilized in money market to get a reasonable return. So money should not remain idle. So it provides an opportunity of banks, large non-financial businesses, state or local government and to other institutions to utilize their surplus funds effectively. The first and foremost function and important benefit from this money market is the better utilization of scarce resource that is funds. Now balancing development of supply of capital, balancing demand and supply of capital. See, in any market, there is demand and supply, even for the capital also. Some people are having surplus money and some people are in need of money. So there is a demand for capital and there is a supply of capital. With the help of this money market, the demand and supply will be in equilibrium. Will be in equilibrium. So with the help of this money market, we can be able to make the equilibrium regarding the capital demanded and capital supplied. And lastly, development of trade, commerce and industry. This money market will be very helpful for the development of trade, commerce and industry because every sector requires funds for short term purpose. So this money market will supply the funds for short term purpose for any trade, business or commerce or industry. Lastly, stable interest rates. Automatically, the interest rates will be stable uh, on account of demand and supply of funds. So a well-functioning money market helps to avoid wide seasonal fluctuations in interest rates, thereby providing stability and profit predictability in interest rates. Because whenever there is demand is more or supply is more, automatically the interest rate will adjust itself. So there will be stability in the interest rate uh, with the existence of this money market. These are the functions of money market in any country. It's very important part in the total financial system. So two videos I have completed in this unit number three. That is first video on the meaning of the term money market and the features of money market. And in this video completely I have explained about the functions of money market. So these questions are very important from examination point of view. Watch the video not once, twice, thrice. Definitely you can be able to remember the points and make a note of important points what I have explained so that you can confidently write in examination. Inshallah we will continue the next topic in the next video.